In lesson 12, we're going to learn how to print and email our documents. We'll go over the print dialog box, the different print options, quick print, print preview, and I'll show you how to send a document as an email attachment. Now that our document is finished, it's time to print it and mail it off to our customer. To print a document, come up to the office button, and then click on print. The print dialog box appears. The first thing you need to do is select your printer. Here you can see I've got a Magic Color 2200 desk laser on my server. If this isn't the printer that I want to use, I can drop this down and pick a different printer. Now if you only have one printer on your system, you should see that printer here. I, for example, have multiple printers across my network. So pick the printer that you want to use to print your document. Down here on the left, you can select which pages you want to print. The default is all the pages. This document only has one page. But if it were longer, I could select current page or type in what pages I want. For example, 1 through 10 but I'll go back to all pages. Next you can select how many copies of this document you want. You can either type in a number here, like 4, or use these little buttons to go up and down, 5, 6, 7, or back down again. For a multiple page document, you can also pick whether you want these pages collated or not. For example, if you have a three page document and you select collate, the printer will print out one two, and three, and then one, two, and three again. If you turn collation off, it'll print all the page ones, then all the page twos, and so on. Collating is easier if you want to just be able to hand them out. However, if you turn collation off, the printer will spit these pages out faster. There are some other advanced options on here. For example, there are different properties and markups and things you can print from your document. We haven't talked about those yet. You can print either odd or even pages or all pages, which is the default. You can change how many pages get printed on each physical sheet of paper. And you can change the scaling of the paper to fit on a different size sheet of paper. In addition, this properties button over here We'll open up another properties window and all of these properties are specific to your printer. You might have multiple tabs, different options down here. For example, I can pick from two different paper trays to print from. These options are all specific to your printer and you should read your printer's manual for more information about them. I'll close this window. These options down here are built into Microsoft Word and we'll talk more about these and I'll show you some examples in a future lesson. For now, I'm ready to print my document so I'll just click on OK and my printer should spit out the document. If you don't want to print, just click Cancel. Now once you have all those options specified and you want to print again, you can simply use the Quick Print feature. Let's say I've discovered a mistake. Let's say it's not Marigold Drive, it's Marigold Street. Well, I can come up here, click on Office, and then Print, but don't click on Print. Come over to the side menu and pick Quick Print. Quick Print will send the document directly to the default printer without making changes. And again, that's good if you don't want to go through that printer dialog box again and pick the number of copies and all that stuff. You just want to print again using the same settings that you just used. There is also a print preview feature. If you click on Office and then on the Print side menu, pick Print Preview. This will open up a new menu that shows you all the print preview options. Notice the ribbon has changed and your document is now very small. Normally, while you're working in Microsoft Word, you're in print layout mode. 
and Word gives you a pretty good estimate of what your document is going to look like when you print it. However, it's not perfect. The print preview mode will allow you to see your document in Word's most approximate version of what it's going to look like when it finally hits the printer. Now in print preview mode, when you move your mouse over the document, notice how the mouse pointer changes into a magnifying glass. This will allow you to click on any section of the document to zoom in and then click again to zoom out. So you can come over here and closely scrutinize the address and scroll down and look at all the text and check over the document to make sure that what you see is what you're going to get. Now there are a ton of different options on here and yes we'll talk about all these in future lessons. For now I'm going to go ahead and click on close print preview. That'll bring me back to the document in print layout mode. Finally if you want to send your document by email just click on office then come down to send and on the side menu pick email. Now on my computer I have Microsoft Outlook 2007 which opened up and it put my letter right here as an attachment. I can type in who this is going to Mr. Smith at Amicron.com for example. I can tab down and type in a CC or a carbon copy to send this to someone else. I can change the subject if I'd like to and then type in any message. Here is the quote we discussed. When I'm done I'll click the send button. Now if you don't have Microsoft Outlook on your computer your default email program should open up and the interface for most email programs looks about the same. The only thing to mention here at this point of course is that in order to see this letter Mr. Smith has to have Word 2007 installed. In future lessons I'll teach you how to save your Word documents so that people without Microsoft Word can view them or even people who have older versions of Microsoft Word. But for today we'll just send the letter as is. Now if I open up Microsoft Outlook you can see the email sitting here in my outbox waiting to be sent the next time Outlook connects to the internet oh there it goes in fact to send and receive my email. We'll talk more about this in our Microsoft Outlook class.